2015 Tab Max S trailer. What you're watching is episode 12 of my uh, uh, upgrade where I've moved the tank from the water tank from the kitchen area down underneath the trailer. This is it, folks. This is the finale. Uh, very few things to do today. We've got a reasonably warm day out. Um, at least it's above freezing out here, and I'll be able to do some testing and put some water back in the trailer. It's been winterized so far, but today should be warm enough to do that. Um, today we need to um, connect all the wiring up, um, get it all tied up and neat. And the only other thing is that the, the additional holes that I drilled for like the vent line and the, um, the fill line to come down, I need to caulk those really well and do some cleanup. So I'm going to go ahead, wire this up, um, put some caulk underneath the bottom and uh, seal it up real well so we won't get water damage in the floor and things. And then we'll go ahead um, and put some water in it and we'll test. Yay, we're finally here. It's been a long road. Thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Excellent. We are done. Yay. My wife now has full use of her kitchen cabinets. Isn't that nice? That turned out great. I put all new uh, um, caulk around all of the the new holes and the old ones just went ahead and recocked um, got everything cleaned up we're gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna put it's a six gallon tank so I got a bunch of get out of there buggy bunch of uh, one gallon water containers and we're just gonna pour them into the thing put about three gallons in there and then we're gonna test See you in a bit. Okay, here is the third gallon. Filler neck works pretty fast. We're getting a good fill rate. Here's a tip for you. Go ahead and fill your... Uh, your uh, water tank with 2% uh, low fat milk and it won't go sour as fast. <laughs> so okay. let's go check that. So out. here we are. And here's the test. Pump is on. Barely. I don't know even if the camera's going to pick that sound up, but go ahead and listen. You see it? It doesn't even come on for quite a while. There we go. So there's one gallon. We'll dump this out and we'll see how many gallons we can retrieve. Look at how smooth that is. Not pulsing, not anything. That expansion tank is working great. So this is the second gallon that's coming out. I want to see if I put three gallons in, how many gallons I can get out. That's great. So here we are. I'm starting to pull care now. Um, so I put in about a little less than three gallons and I'm getting out uh, about two and a half gallons out. So I'm about maybe half a gallon of water still in the system. So I need to go ahead and do a winterization now after I've done this test. But thank you everybody for hanging in there. Um, 12 episodes is quite long, but uh, look at that. That's awesome. And that pump is absolutely quiet. Take care, drive safe, and see you next time. Bye-bye.